In this video, I will be teaching you how to convert nonlinear equations into linear form. So if we have an equation such as y is equal to ax squared plus b, where this is a quadratic equation, we know that it is not linear. So if we were to graph it, we have our y-axis and our x-axis, it would look something like this. So this is ax squared plus b. Now what we want to do is we want to somehow find a way to express this graph in linear form. So how can we express the graph of y is equal to ax squared plus b in linear form? Well we already know that any graph or any straight line graph follows the equation y is equal to mx plus c. So on these axes over here if we were to take an equation in this form, it would be a straight line. So it would look something like this or this, depending on the values. Now, if we were to take another set of axes, so let's call this capital X and capital Y. Now, in this case, in order to draw a straight line, all we need to do is we need to take an equation in the form Y is equal to M times capital X plus C. So both of these are following the same format, only our values for y and x, or the values on our axes will be different. So through that we can say that if we want to express the equation y is equal to ax squared plus b in a linear form, all we need to do is change the axis, so we'll have change it to be capital X and capital Y, and then we will find a way in which we can express it in this form over here. So looking back to our equation, we can say that we have y is equal to ax squared now, or ax squared plus b. You might already notice the pattern. So if we take y, so capital Y is equal to y. And if we block this off, then we can take capital X is equal to x squared. Then we can substitute this to get y is equal to a times capital X plus B. And this is following our format because, well, A can be seen as the M or the gradient, and B can be seen as C or the intercept. So if we were to draw this on our graph, it would look something like this, where this is the graph of A times capital X plus B. And this equation is essentially the same thing as y is equal to a times x squared plus b. Only our y-axis is capital Y, which is also equal to y. And our x-axis is capital X, which is also equal to x squared. So let's write this as x squared. So by changing our axis from y versus x to y versus x squared, we were able to represent our graph in a linear form. Let's look at another example. Let's say that we have the equation y is equal to a over x squared plus b. And we're asked to convert this into linear form. So in other words, we want to express this as capital Y is equal to m times capital X plus c. So all we need to do now is just solve for, or find out what our value for capital X is and our value for capital Y is. So let's write this out. We wanna get Y is equal to M times capital X plus C. From our equation, Y is equal to A over X squared plus B. Well, if we simply just rearrange this a bit, we can get Y is equal to A times one over X squared plus B. And now if we take y is equal to y and 1 over x squared. So this value right here is equal to capital X. Then we get our equation in the form y is equal to a times x plus b. And this should be capital Y. And this matches the format over here. And I'd also like to make a quick note about what the values inside of this equation can be. So let's move down here. 
if we have our equation y is equal to m times capital X plus C, then our values for y and x, so these both can contain, contain x and or y. And what I mean by this is like for the example of y or for the value of y, we can have something like x times y, we can have x times y or x over y or y squared or y cubed, ln of y, basically anything in terms of y. And for x, we can also have something like x times y, as we had above, 1 over x squared. We can have x squared, the square root of x, lg of y, or lg of x. And basically, once again, any random variable or any formula thingy involving x. So our values for m and c, on the other hand, so our values for m and c, they both have to be constant. So that basically means that m cannot be equal to 1 over x or 2x. So this is not possible. m has to equal to a whole number or a fraction or some constant variable. So m can equal like ln of 5, 3, 1 over 17. It can really be any constant number. You know what constants are. Let's look at one more example. Let's say that we have an expression y is equal to a times e to the power of negative b times x. So over here we have a slight issue x is up here in the power and you want to bring it down. If you remember from our chapter on logarithms, all we can what we can do is we can take ln of both sides. So for example, we can take ln of y is equal to ln of a times e to the negative b times x. We can simplify this. ln of y is equal to ln of a plus ln of e to the power of negative b times x, ln of y is equal to ln of a plus negative b times x times ln of e, so that's using the power rule, and then we get this is equal to 1, so we get ln of y is equal to negative b times x plus ln of a. Now we want to rewrite this in our linear form or in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So we can take y as ln of y. So we get y is equal to ln of y. And we can take x alone over here. So we can take x is equal to x. So if we rewrite this, we get capital Y or ln of y is equal to negative b times capital X, or which is the same thing as small x, plus ln of a. So in this case, our value for c is ln of a, which is a constant. Our value for m is negative b, which is also a constant. Our value for y is ln of y, which is in terms of y, and our value of x is x, which is in terms of x. And referencing what we did earlier, if we were to draw this on a on a graph, we would plot x against ln of y, and depending on the values of what a and b are, we would get a straight line graph. Might look like this, or like this, once again, depending on what the values of a and b are. So just as a quick recap, when we want to convert nonlinear equations into linear form, all we need to do is change the values of our axis, or instead of using y and x, we use capital Y and capital X in order to move our equation into the form y is equal to mx plus c.